Hi, my name is Mike Garcia, CEO of Loud Rumor, an organization that helps fitness studios all over the world grow and be more successful. I'm also the host of Top Fitness Business Podcast, The GSD Show, and your host on this podcast as well. The goal of this podcast is to help you stay informed on some good ideas that your fitness studio can implement to succeed during this pandemic. And in this episode, I'm here with my man, N.T. from FitGrid, founder and CEO. N.T., welcome aboard, man. Thank you, brother. What's up, Mike? Hey, everyone. <laughs> so... Uh, I wanted to have you on for a few reasons. One, because you're yeah. a cool guy. I got to actually hang out with you and meet you, I think, what, like in a couple months ago when yeah. things were different. <laughs> yeah. Different yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and then your name, well, not your name necessarily, but FitGrid kept popping up because uh, a couple of our fitness studio members are using them, yeah. actually quite a few, and uh, using FitGrid. And a lot, of, a lot of them are commenting saying, like, how could I use it? What are the benefits? All that stuff. So. Absolutely. I want to talk with you about, um, you know, fit grid and also like what makes a good live workout and experience before, after all that stuff. So really quick, what is fit grid and, uh, why is it awesome? Yeah. So what we're doing at fit grid is, is we're basically bringing sort of the people connection, um, into fitness. We believe that fitness is all about people and, um, and that your community is essentially the one competitive advantage that you have versus other studios versus like the Pelotons, the mirrors of the world, you know, et cetera. Mm -hmm. That was certainly true. You know, when we were live and in person, you know, um, and going to, going to studios, it's even more true, you know, as we see who's coming back to our live stream classes and needing to keep that together. Um, so the system that we've built essentially is like a social network, okay. you know, for the studio. We have um, different components. One component is FitGrid Pro, which is an instructor app, it allows the instructors to see who's coming to class and follow up messages. That's been shown to increase retention significantly. Another piece that's client outreach, which allows staff members to reach out to clients with information about what they should say at a specific point in time. So decreasing frequency category. Someone came 10 times two months ago, three times last month, you gotta catch them now. And the final piece um, that, we were, that we are going to be rolling out is FitGrid Client, which is where it connects all the clients in the studio, right? So it's an app that allows everyone to connect together. You would then, Let's say you sign up for a class. Your friends would know that you signed up for that class. You could sign up for that. Um, sign up for that class also. Okay. In the in between all of that, the world changed. Yeah. And so what we did was we scrambled and we put up a live stream solution. And that live stream solution um, basically uh, was a simple way of connecting mind body and Zoom, okay. so that it was just an automatic, easy to do thing. We realized that the world was shifting. We got a, a little. We were a little bit ahead of the game. We said, you know what, all of these studios um, and all the communities that they serve are going to be devastated by this thing. We're not going to outrun this wave. Um, and so in the midst of all of the closings that we're going to have and the conversations with the instructors, now the kids are home, the mortgages that you have to take care of, all the rest of that, the last thing that you have to be thinking about is do I have to shift or change my business model? Do I have to mm -hmm. get off of the payment platform, MindBody, for example, um, that I've been using? Do my clients have to pay for classes in a different way? We said, don't worry about that. We've got that. We will figure that out and we'll be the tech solution that will sort of do that. So when you sign up for our, our system, um, we basically take your existing mind body schedule and we automatically create meetings for that in Zoom. So live stream. Individual yeah. meeting Individual room Individual meeting rooms, yes, for, okay. each, uh, for each one of your classes. <clears throat> and then we create private personalized links for each one of the clients that sign up. The regular way they normally sign up and we send those to them automatically. So that's how we take care of the privacy component. And we automatically send the link to your instructor also so that they can. So um, if me and my wife both, let's yeah. say, register for the class yeah. um, under our own individual mind body IDs, right? right? We both register for the same class, but even though we register for the same class, we'll get different links. Very different links. And, and that helps you track and measure like how many classes I've come to and all that stuff, right? That's right. Yeah. That's pretty cool. um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's not, even, not even that it's just individual links, but each one of those links are password protected. Okay. So you get your link and it's password protected so that just you, you know, can use it. And then she will get her link and similar sort of thing. And it generates a different password every time. Generates a different password for each person. That's right. Wow. That's pretty yeah. cool. So yeah. tell me what you can track. Like what, what are the, I mean, obviously the privacy benefits, making sure people that don't belong in the class aren't coming into the class, but what are the benefits as far as reporting, tracking? What do you get out of this? So you can actually do a lot of your reporting and tracking in the same way, looking at it in mind body. 
the difference that we the difference that we offer is that or the thing that we offer that's slightly different um, is that we can actually tell you which one of the classes um, are live streamed enabled versus those that are in person so we can do that um, right now okay. and then we can also uh, we have a feature called auto check-in that will automatically check whether or not the person um, actually entered into the zoom meeting really? you know and so at the end of the class uh, it looks at and says, okay, these people are in the Zoom meeting, and so we checked you in. So we sort of act like your front desk, you know, support person um, from that perspective. That's really cool. Is it probably not, I'm assuming, but is it able to track stuff like how long somebody stays in a class or if they complete the class or anything like that? Um, so there are ways that we can track the amount of time, you know, inside a particular, uh, particular session. We haven't built that out yet, but yes, okay. there are ways we could do that. So let's say, uh, let's say I was a fitness studio owner right now and I'm saying, okay, cool. I want to get set up with FitGrid. Yeah. Um, what, what does it look like? At, like, what's the work that I have to do? Like how much work or set up? 10 minutes. Or what, huh, 10 minutes. So what, 10 what does it look like? What do I do in those 10 minutes? Yeah. So essentially it's a, there's a six step process um, that you go through. Uh, the first is basically name, email address, you know, password. Um, the second is connect or integrate with MindBody. You know, so you, so the, do you have to be a mind body user? You do have to be a mind body user. Okay. Yes, so it's a mind, mind body, body app. Essentially. It is a, it is a mind body integrated, you know, app. That's right. And so do you not work with other things like club ready or anything like that just yet? Not yet. No. Okay. So mind body yeah. specific, which is good. Mind body specific. And by the and way, have you, fitness. have you noticed we did like a whole like mind body training portal? Have you seen that yet or no? I haven't seen that. No, I got to check that out. I think we've got a better mind body training system than mind body. Actually, I know I do. I know I do. I'm not kidding you. It's like, that's it's, great. The, it's, it's a whole course on it. So we got to go through okay. it. I'll show it to you when you get a chance. Absolutely. But uh, Absolutely. that's good because a lot of our studio owners use mind body. A lot of the franchises exclusively use, use mind body as well. Yep. Um, so, and it needs to be group fitness. So and it needs to be group. So personal so we do training not, work. Yeah. The one-on-ones, those are, those are different sort of calls in the mind body system. Yeah. And we do calls that are related to, um, what are called, uh, classes mm -hmm. and then enrollments as well. Got it. Okay, cool. Yeah. So create my username and password, um, integrating with my body. Do I do that or do you do it or do you show you do me all that? of that? So that Is takes it... you, you can go on self sign up. Okay. Um, it's, uh, it's here. I'll show you. Yeah. Yeah. Share your screen. There we go. That's I'm a visual guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't. So if you go to admin, get rid of this one. Admin dot fitgrid.com okay that'll take you to this page down here at the bottom you click on sign up okay and these are the six basic steps that you'll go through when you get started create a basic account sync fitgrid with mindbody select the locations that you want to have active so some people stream out of just one location as opposed to all the physical locations they have uh, we do ask for your credit card uh, up front even though you have a 30-day trial and then these last two steps, you can actually skip if only if you're just interested in getting up and running on the live stream solution right now. It actually has a message in that says that you can, that you can skip those. But these are specifically for that FitGrid Pro instructor app um, that okay. I told you about. So five That's and six. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, so it's a 30 day trial. What's the cost outside of the trial? Afterwards. Yeah. So the, um, so the cost after is $149 per month. Um, per uh, location, per active location. But this last okay. month, we actually gave um, we actually gave a discount because we're aware of what's happening. You know, okay. In the world. Yeah. Okay. Is it is it a like announced discount or not yet or is it? Like oh no, we gave yeah we announced it and gave it to people in this last payment period. Okay, so not right now. Right now it's one forty nine. Right now it's a thirty day free trial and then one hundred forty nine. Um, Got it. Is there a contract or anything? Uh, cancel anytime. Cancel anytime. Okay, cool. Yeah. How many studios do you have using this right now? So we don't get into, let's just say that it's, um, it's well north of a thousand. Okay. Got it. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, so you work with stuff like Pilates, bar, yoga, TRX, hit, uh, as long as it's space, cycle, all that stuff. Yes. Okay, yeah. cool. So why would it, what, by the way, that are, that go down from the, um, from people that are doing like four people a class to literally we have a studio in Australia doing 220 people a class, a thousand people a day. Wow. It's like insane. Yeah. Wow. That's really cool. Um, yeah. wait, is that Wulu Mulu? No. <laughs> okay. Cause Wulu Mulu is doing about that, those numbers right it's, now. It's, uh, F45 Wulu Mulu. Um, okay. So let, let's kind of go back. Um, so let, let's say I am a group fitness studio owner. Like I, yeah. I have a, a hit training studio. I do group classes, 30 people on average. Um, I, I do use mind body, right? Mm -hmm. So if all that happens, 
why wouldn't I do this? What, what am I typically upset about that I don't, that I don't get with you? Yeah. So, so here's the, so here's the thing. And, and many people are doing um, a number of, uh, a number of different options. So the, I think the first conversation um, that you have with yourself as a studio owner is, do I want to, do I want to charge or not? Right. If you don't want to charge for the classes for whatever reason, and I, and I believe that, you know, if you sort of take a step back and look at like the industry, I'll give you my perspective. Just everybody in my seconds. group is charging. We, we have, there, there you, you go. have okay, to so charge. If everyone's yes. charging. Then, yes. then we're good. Okay, so okay. if you are charging, then that gets rid of a whole lot of the people that are doing like Facebook, that are doing Instagram yep. Live, that are basically giving their stuff away. Right. If you are charging, then um, the way that some people do it is that uh, they create sort of a, they, they manually create Zoom links, right? So they manually create a Zoom room. They let people sign up on MindBody you know, and then they are manually sort of creating that meeting and then emailing out the links. Now that's fine if you're doing like, let's say a class a day, two classes a day. If you're actually doing multiple classes, like three, four, five classes a day, if you're, if you're dealing with like more than five people per class, that becomes a really big effort and the yeah. pain in the butt to do that. So the automated aspect of this um, becomes really, really appealing. Um, to I you. love it. But it's not just that. Um, what I like to say is that live stream, to some extent, is going to end up becoming a commodity, right? The world is now shifted. And at this point in time, whether you do it manually, whether you decide that you're going to put it on YouTube or you're going to, or you're going to, um, do, um, or you're going to do it on like, Instagram or you're going to use one of the automated solutions, uh, you can now live stream all the time. The question becomes, what else are you getting back from that live stream solution, okay. right? And what we argue is uh, two things. First of all, our live stream solution also allows the personalization aspect. So in addition to getting your live stream solution, which I will show here in a second, you also get the client feedback component. So you get um, automatic surveys that are sent out to clients that will ask them, hey, how'd you like you know, that instructor? How'd you like that class, you know, et cetera, right? Then in addition to that, you have the ability to have like the instructor app right? And we don't have front desk people anymore in this environment. So right. that personal connection is all about the connection with the instructor. So, but how does an instructor create a connection or maintain a connection with people if they're not seeing them, giving them a high five or whatever? Well, you can send follow-up messages from the instructor app, right? And then finally, the client outreach component, which allows your staff or yourself to actually send messages based on information mm -hmm. that we collect for you and easily sort of pull into a place um, that you can say, okay, I should reach out to this person, or this is a message I send, should send to this person. And that's what keeps your community together. So all of those together are why this is not just a live stream solution, but it's also a personalization yeah. you know, solution as well. <clears throat> yeah, I've noticed that people that yeah. I've, done, I've done 18 workouts in 18 days. I got my next one into a couple hours. I'm doing a different studio every day. And you can tell the ones that have fit great. I get like a special email from them. It's yep. like this cool thing, like a logo that moves and there's, yeah, I could see yep. it as a user. It's pretty easy to get set up. Yeah. So let me, uh, so let me show you, um, let me show you sort of the internal, okay. uh, the internals of this and then some of the, uh, some of the outside stuff. Hold on. So this is a studio that we have uh, permission to show. This is sort of our internal, our internal screens, right? So okay. when I go to my live stream, uh, my live stream component, I will click here, go to settings, click on live stream. So here are some of the classes um, that, uh, that are set up. So we literally pull from the mind body, chest, shoulders, and ab class today at six o'clock with Hillary. Um, there are 20 people in this class. Um, this Zoom enabled box basically um, lets us know whether or not you're enabling that for live stream. So it comes in empty, you click it, that lets us know that it's uh, Zoom enabled. Um, when you click on the details, you know, for this, what you'll see is each of the clients in the class. So the name of the client, their email address. Um, there are two emails that we send over. One is a confirmation email. When they sign up for class, they immediately get a confirmation email. That confirmation email looks like this, right? Mm -hmm. So I've seen this will have the logo you know, the studio, this is your live stream confirmation. Thanks for signing up for this class. The link will be sent approximately one hour before the class. And here's how to repair, right? 
Um, and then there is the class link, which comes roughly an hour before the class, right? Mm -hmm. And that looks like this. So yep. again, the- uh, I've um, seen that one. Yep. And you're signed up for your, um, your upcoming class. Click this button when you're ready. When you enter the Zoom session, um, both your sound and video will be off, et cetera. Please yourself mute it or you'll interrupt the sound from the instructor. And then finally down here, just in case you can't, um, uh, you're having some trouble, then you have your meeting ID and your meeting password um, that's specific to you, right? To be able to join that class. Um, so then you're, then you're in the class and you're sort of going. The instructor gets their own email with the link about half an hour before class. And that's what allows them to click on it and start the class. Now, when you're using Zoom, there is a way to um, optimize sound and music. And the studios mm -hmm. that are doing the best with this you know, do that so that their voice can be heard in the foreground and the music is in the background. It's really actually really rather good. And then you have like a tremendous experience. Some of the, some of the studios um, haven't quite mastered that yet. And so they're trying to do the speaker, you mm -hmm. know, um, that then sort of <laughs> the, as you move further away from it, you know, um, you can't hear yourself as much. You hear the speaker more, et cetera. So that solution is what we recommend for an optimal solution. It does require having like a laptop Okay. Um, that you're streaming from and not just the phone. Um, the past cool. classes, you can look at your past classes and for example, here's a past class uh, with 16 people. And if you click on the details on a past class, then you can see that we checked in those that actually joined the live and stream. And checked in means they just joined the Zoom. They joined the Zoom. So it automatically checks them in. It automatically checks them in. As long as the email address that they use to, that they use to um, get into the Zoom is the same as the email address that we have yeah. for them signing up in MindBody. Then which yes. usually and that's going to be the, the which usually the that's the case. That's yeah. right. And so you can see your past classes that way as well. That's awesome. Yeah. What what kind of that's I mean other than that I don't know what other reports you'd want. That's well. Good. So so there's a whole bunch of stuff, right? Remember I talked about the client feedback that you can turn on. So yeah. this is the sort of thing where um, this is the sort of thing where. Uh, you can actually see how people feel about your instructors. So 9.5 out of 10 cool. rating. And you're getting feedback. Um, great class. It was challenging, but feel good class. My only concern is the audio is not always clear. Great. Amazing feedback. Right, now you right. know, you know that, for, um, that for this particular instructor, in this case it was with Scott, um, you know that with Scott, uh, that's what you need to adjust. Scott, your audio isn't always clear. So this one's had 1,200 ratings already. Well, this, and, so these are ratings that, that happened before, prior to Corona also. Okay. So, yeah. But still like, I mean, people yeah. are rating it. People are actually rating it. And, and how are they rating it? Where, where do you go to rate it? If I'm a member yeah. after class, what, do I get an email? How does this work? You get work? an email. So what it, what, the way that it works is um, once per, once every three months per instructor, you, um, we ask you for a rating of that instructor and okay. it will send you an email. It says rate them one through 10. And then you can choose to leave comments as well. So as you can see, there were 1,000 people. Half people. the people have left comments. That's great. Exactly. Exactly. It's a, it's a yeah. huge. And then no, you can also awesome. go in and look at the instructor benchmarks. And you can see sort of over the last 30 days, well, where are people sort of ranking? Yeah. Right? Like who's doing, who's doing what? Different instructors. and Different wow. instructors. And then also one of the things that's really great is we have these instructor reports. And the instructor reports will literally tell you okay, how much money are the instructors bringing in? How profitable are they? What's their retention rate? What's the number of visits per class or what have you? You know, again, assuming that they, um, that the people, uh, that the studio owners fill in the information um, that we require on that. So for example, how much do you pay them or whatever? Um, and then what percentage of people, like what types of, um, what's the client breakdown? So transform membership, 48% of the people coming in in this particular month, this is the month of March, were members, 21% uh, were class members. So that's obviously the first half of March, right? And here's the age and gender breakdown and how are you doing in each one of these classes? So you get this on a monthly wow. basis, which is automatic. It would take you a ton of time to pull all of yeah. this information. You won't do together. it. You, you won't, won't do, it. do it. You won't do it, right? And just then you, you know, have, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna just quickly interrupt for everyone watching. Yeah. I am demanding you have this if you have my body. I don't even know. <laughs> why you wouldn't have this. This is ridiculous. I want it. I don't it's even have stuff. a studio. I want it right it's now. Good stuff. It's good stuff. It's great. And then you have, um, and then you have the client outreach component. And this is where, uh, you know, this is where we said like for the front desk staff, the managers, the owners, we tell you who you should be reaching out to. So for example, Emily Kafka 
package expiration date is coming. So we break it down into different categories. We suggest what email you can send to her, but you can change that. You can change the subject and the body. And you would, you would change it based on looking at her client history. So here's her history. She has been on a one month unlimited the past six months. One month unlimited, one week for 59, single drop in class. You can tap any of those things and see, you know, which actual class she went into. She obviously loves Hillary. She's been to Hillary 21 times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can even see the communication history with her. So there was a follow up message as a first visit client um, from Scott. And wow. here was here was his message, her message back to him. Right. So he said, hypertrophy, that's it. That's the name of the game, et cetera. She wrote back, hey, Scott, I really loved your class. I work out with a personal trainer normally, et cetera, et cetera. So you can actually see all of that stuff. And now you have a record, you know, of how Scott is doing with communication, how the clients are communicating back, because this is part of your studio business. This is what I mean by it's not just a live stream solution. This is all about the personalization, you know, and, and the, the contact that you have, you know, with your clients. Yeah. And that stuff makes, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, um, one of the ways that we track, that we track um, the effectiveness is we look at those follow-ups sent by the instructors. How effective mm -hmm. were those in bringing people back? So if you take February, these are first time clients. So 254 people, first time clients to the studio, 254 of them, 41% um, came back in 30 days. Of That's those great. who didn't receive it, 101, only 11.9% came back within the next 30 days. So 29% difference, right? And mm -hmm. over, the past, over the past six months, 29% difference, you know, on average. So it helps when the instructor actually reaches out because that's where that emotional connection um, actually exists. Mm -hmm. Now, the last time we run this uh, sort of two months back. So at the end of this month, you'll see March come in. But that's even more critical now that the instructor is the only place where they're having contact or where you're having contact with the client. Yeah. So, so that's, that's what we think is really special, you know, about, um, about our system is, uh, is that outside. Is awesome. Thank Your you. Thank you. Is awesome. It's, it's really great. It's more than I would have asked you for, but now that you give it to me, I want it all. You know, it's we're, like what I was we're, we're, we're throwing it in. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't have thought to ask for the other stuff, but now that I have it, I'm like, yeah, that's good to know. It's good to know all that stuff. It's good to know yeah. which instructors are getting the most ratings and the best ratings and the reviews and the actual comments on those and um, then just be able to see who's coming to class, what classes are going to regularly. I mean, it, yeah. there's so many things. I'm, my brain's already spinning. Like I know exactly what content I'm going to put out. I exactly. know what email I'm going to have email set out by a particular trainer. Exactly. If I have a trainer that's a 9.89 and I got all my other ones that are like at 9.2. Yeah. This, all the emails are coming from this trainer, right? That's and right. Like, that's hey, right. It's coming out. All my best classes, right. my best times are going to this trainer. That's right. That's right. This is really cool. All right. That's well, um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're pretty much at that time, but I will say to close out, everyone here that is watching, if you're a MindBody user, I, I don't know why you don't have it. It's an awesome tool. It's Money. great. It's an easy deal. It's $149 yeah. a month. I mean, two of your members pay for that, yeah. and, um, and you're able to find a way to keep those two a lot longer, I would assume, with this and be able to get yeah. more people from it. So, NT, man, thank you so much. This is very valuable. I, I, it is better than you, I thought everyone. it was going to be. I, I thought I was going to just be like, okay, we'll just talk about what your experiences are. But um, I never got to see the back end of FitGrid like that. I've only got to see the front end of it. So, And, and more is coming, Mike. Here's, here's what I always say in the last five seconds. Live stream is going, to be a, is going to be a commodity. Here's the question. In this new world, in this new environment, having a live stream solution is kind of like having a web page. There are 8 billion web pages out there, right? How does yours get found? Right. So if you think about how that discovery piece works, that's the next thing that we're working on. We'll be rolling that it. out in about a month well, and a half. Well, let me know as soon as you got it, and then we'll do another thing. We'll launch Sounds it Sounds good, out. brother. All right. All right. NT, thanks so much, man. I appreciate Take your care. time. It's great hanging All out right. with you as always. All right. Thank you, man. Bye. Peace.